here. We made it. I don't know what we made it to. We made it through a bunch of live lessons. I, saw, I, I guess I could have prepared a speech or something. I haven't, I didn't, I'm sorry, forgive me. Um, but I, I don't know, I wanted to keep it as natural as it is every time. Um, I always like to come on here and it's very live and as you have seen across these 30 live lessons that we've done uh, it's been very in the moment and of the moment pretty much every time um, there's so many things I guess I want to say I want to say thanks to everybody for joining me for all these months um, it's been a crazy few months it's been a crazy year of course and the crazy kind of continues the hard times the difficult times but we do have each other we always will, um, so keep that in your mind. And uh, today I thought, I thought a couple of things. I thought, what do we go out on? What do we go out on if this is the last one? If this is the last one, but maybe we come back one day and carry this on. So with all of that in mind, I didn't necessarily, I need to save some of my songs that I haven't done. I think you I think that makes sense. I think you can understand that. So I wanted to save some of the, some of my songs, so I don't want to do, have done all of those. I know I haven't done every single song I've ever put out or written or whatever. Um and I've done a bunch of covers, so I thought maybe I'll do one more of those. Because this song that I've chosen, I love it. It's big, upbeat, and beautiful. And uh, I guess I had a really good time playing it live a couple of years ago. All the comments just disappeared, but they're back now. I can see you all now. Hey, guys. I don't know why they, they disappeared. I can see you all again. I don't know. Oh, here they come. Okay. Anyway. Um, I haven't played this song for a while, but I did it a lot in 2018. It's by Tina Turner. It's called The Best. Uh, I am tuned down on my 63 Fender Jag. There she be. Uh, I am tuned down a whole step. That's my way. You know how it goes. This guitar, does it hold that tuning that well? Not really, but you know. It never really stopped your, sort of, your Keith Richards of this world. So uh, we'll give it a shot regardless. I've got the lyrics in front of me because I never remember those. So you will catch me looking over there. Why don't I tune this thing up really quick before we, uh, before we have to sit through like a really out of tune performance. So I'm going to give you my best version of this with its, in all its kind of glory. It's a sort of solo guitar glory. Um, key change and all. Haven't sung this one for a long time. Will my pipes burst when uh, when I get there? Uh, when I get to the key change? Potentially, yeah. But we've been on that ride many times together, so I'm willing to go on it again with you. Um, if my throat explodes, sorry. Uh, I don't know what else to say, I'm just going to kick it off. What did I tell you? So I'm tuned down a whole step. We're not E, A, D, G, B, E. We are D, G, C, F, A, D. Uh, I'm using a pick for this. There's a kind of some finger picky stuff going on. Keep your eyes on it. You'll see. You'll see what's going on. Um, I played this one a lot in the past with uh, my band. I did that a lot in 2018. We had a lot of fun. Uh, and now I'm going to do it for you kind of solo for the first time. Don't know if I've ever done it solo before. We'll see how it goes. We'll start there. Second. These lyrics are weird. This is not right. Call you when I need you, my heart's on fire. All right, all the Tina Turner fans in here, jump, jump in with me. Call you when I need you, my heart's on fire. He comes to me, comes to me, wild and wild. Mm -hmm. Give me lifetime promises and world of dreams. Language of love means oh, it can't be. Ah! All right, I think I worked out what went wrong. Oh, you're gonna me. Now I got it. Here we go. 
We had it's the last one, it's the last live lesson. We had to have one of those. It might be our first one yet. Might be our first mess up. Take two. I call you when I need you, when my heart's on fire. Shell is how I do it, how I play it. Like I said to you before, I uh, I played that song a whole lot with uh, my band a couple of years ago. That's really high. I appreciate somebody writing King of Vocals because um, I don't know. I just about held he held on there. That got super high. I love this song. about that key change.
show you how I played it, what I did. Uh, thank you. Oh, James Bay France, this cover is perfect. You were very kind. So we tune down a whole step, don't forget it, remember that. This is how we start though, we go from what looks like G. That's where the song ended, but we're actually here. We're down in like what looks like F basically, and we're going first finger and third finger, doing like a power chord on the eighth and tenth fret, A string and D string. See those guys? So we're going to use our pinky finger, this guy, we haven't, I feel like we haven't used this guy for a little while. So while we're holding this two fret shape here, this power chord, we're going to leave the pinky finger available, the little finger, to jump up to the 12th fret. So this is our, on the A string, on the 8th fret, we're playing our bass note. Keep it rocking, it's like School of Rock. Cello, you got a bass. And then you bring that 10th uh, fret on the D string in. And we're going to get ready, we're going to go... So remember that riff because we come back to it all the time, it happens a lot. So we're going to go, power, that's the power chord, 8th uh, fret on the uh, A string, 10th uh, fret on the D string, and then we're going to sort of go hammer, so keep that finger there, we're going to hammer from the 10th fret up to the 12th fret on the D for that bit. And then we're going to take that pinky finger off and look where our middle finger is floating over the G on the 9th fret, getting ready to land there that and then you can bring your pinky finger back in for the full power chord so that was uh, I'm just going to talk about the the notes that move up here we got uh, D string 8th fret uh, sorry 10th fret 12th fret G string 9th fret G string 10th fret and try and ignore that finger looks like it's doing stuff but it's actually just sort of hovering I call you when I need you, my heart's on fire You come to me, come to me, wild and wild Oh, you come to me Check it out, so then we're going to move, get some new bass notes going on I take my first finger off the A string, where the bass note originally was And I, um, I jump with my middle finger to the low E string 10th fret. Oh, will you come to me? And just hit, just so keep those two fingers on the 10th fret on the D and the G where they were. And the, it's the middle finger comes over for the bass note to make like what looks like a D minor chord. Oh, give me everything I need. And that's just a bar chord uh, from your 6th fret. It's like it looks like a B flat bar chord. Just a classic sort of B flat major shape. Kind of E shape bar chord. Then you leave it hanging and then you come back. Uh, give me a lifetime of promises in a world of dreams. You speak the language of love like you know what it means. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it can't be wrong. Same thing as this the first half of verse one. Oh, it can be wrong. And you'll notice, guitar players will notice, I'm doing a lot of palm muting with my right hand. It's kind of a lot of mutey stuff. Because that meant then you don't get loads of jangle. The jangle's for later on. Oh, it can be wrong. Take my heart and make it strong. There's that B flat bar chord. And then we're going to slide it up two frets. We're kind of like, we're rooted around the sixth and the eighth fret. And we're going to come up to the eighth and the tenth fret. For our turnaround. You're simply the bass. Now we come back to that same like F uh, power chord, but we are going to do a new sort of top melody. Again, it's all this sort of like picking out on that sort of downstroke uh, instead of. We're gonna go. So we're gonna play the bar chord. First finger on the A string, to, uh, eighth fret, as we were before. Middle finger is gonna play on the D string on the tenth fret. This guitar's a weird shape. Sorry, it kind of doesn't. It's not conducive to getting in front of the camera. Uh, so we're gonna go. Uh, 
and then you've got your third finger here on the G, 10th fret, pinky finger's gonna jump. All happening on the G string, those that melody. B string, 10th fret, uh, 11th fret. B string, 11th fret, B string, 10th fret. When we go to that D minor chord, that second chord of the chorus, like in the verse, we don't worry about that melody anymore. I don't know this. That D minor chord all across the is the low E string, the D string, and the G string all on the tenth fret. Uh, then down to that C C shape looking thing bar chord starts on the tenth fret. Uh, sorry, it doesn't. It starts on the eighth fret. Get my frets confused. It starts on the eighth fret. Someone's saying my pinky finger is small too. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Don't fully understand what you mean. Uh, don't play this in Scotland again, please. Yep, yeah, sorry. Go and watch YouTube and you guys will find out that I played it in Scotland in 2018. And half of the crowd loved it because they were supporters of one football team. And the other half of the crowd hated it because they were supporters of another football team. And one of those football teams, Song, is the best by Tina Turner. But we all know it's a banger. So here I am playing it now. It was funny though at that time. Somebody called Starshine Inferno says record this. If you go on Spotify and listen to my 2018 Spotify session, there is a full band recording of this song. Go check it out, it's good. Remember back to the verse, verse two, remember that? Give me a light in your heart, I see the star of every night and every day. That's a great spelling mistake. Tuna Turner should see this. Good old Tuna, we love her. In your heart, I see the star of every night and every day. And in your eyes, I get lost, get washed away. Chorus verses are the same each time, choruses are the same each time, and then we've got to get that bridge at middle eight. Uh, that starts like on a G minor chord. Check it out, we're over here. So, a third fret, you're gonna bar across the third fret, getting that low note there, and then uh, D string, A string, and D string on the fifth fret for like a G minor chord. Uh, each time you leave me, I start losing control. Let me jump up to here, D minor. Walking away with my heart and my soul. I can feel you baby, when I'm alone. Then this gets kind of nuts. We're gonna do a key change. You go B flat, or you can play it here if you want. Oh, baby, oh. Then you jump up another two frets for C. Don't let go. You go to a D. That's a fun key change, if you ask me. I love that. So that key change is B flat bar chord as we played it in the song earlier in the verse. Another two frets. So you're going like the, the bar chord initially. The B flat one sits across. Uh, the 6th and the 8th fret, 8th uh, and the 10th fret, and then 10th and the 12th fret. And then I do a guitar solo. But of course, while we think this is the last live lesson ever, if I hold back on the guitar solo and don't show you how to play it now, then we can come back in the future and we can do the loop. You get me, you get me, you get me. Malika. And then, as I messed up in the song, I'll tell you what I actually do. So originally, 
We kind of go back to our verse part for what happens underneath the guitar solo, and in Tina's version, or Tuna as somebody called her earlier, uh, it's a saxophone solo, because that was the 80s and that's what you did, or the early 90s, I'm not sure. So we had that shape in the verse, that bar chord shape, that power chord shape on the A string and the D string. In the key change over the solo, it just starts up here. We've just gone... <laughs> For like a G, G kind of thing. Yeah. And then we go, look, our middle finger is waiting to jump onto that 12th fret on the low E. And you keep these two on the G and the D string. And they come down to that. And it's all just two frets up from what we were doing earlier. Um, now that we've done the key change. You see the abyss. So that's what I would say, one real sort of teacher's note, guitar teacher's note, is uh, take notice of the shape, look at my fingers, take notice of the shapes that you're playing, because they can apply just a couple frets up or a couple frets down, depending on, you know, what's going on. And in this song, we do the key change with those cool, like, B flat, C, uh, B flat major, C, C major, D major shapes. And then it's the same shapes uh, as the earlier part of the song, just two frets higher. third fret, low E string, and then I hit like a funky harmonic. Just for a sort of fun, kind of shiny, glistening ending. So there you have it. That's how I play Simply the Best. Um, and uh, it's kind of sad this, but it's not sad at the same time. It's been a lot of fun. I just want to sort of have finished the lesson for a second, move that to a side, to the side, so I can just say to everybody on here, um, thank you. It's been loads of fun. Uh, like two or three months ago, my team at the label and stuff, they all messaged me and they said, um, just so you know, this was like a couple of weeks into doing the live lessons, like eight weeks into doing the live lessons, actually. They said we're at three million streams of, of the live lessons because I've been putting them on my, putting them on my, Instagram and I've been putting them on my uh, YouTube. This, these will all go up, up on my YouTube. You can go and watch them back. On this one, you can watch me mess up and you can watch me try and sort of salvage a brilliant song and my version of it. <laughs> um, uh, but we, we, we've racked up a whole bunch of plays and views and uh, it's all thanks to you guys. I'm gonna say just a special thank you, um, if I may, to uh, James Bay USA, James Bay France, James Bay Columbia, there's the James Bay Guitar Geek account. There's all these glorious, lovely, wonderful, super incredible fan accounts. And I've not mentioned some of them as I've called them out there and there are more. And thank you all so much um, for what you've done for the live lessons. I think really uh, their heart has, uh, the, the live lessons heart has only beat louder because of you guys. Um, and it means the world. It means the absolute world that you, that you helped me really promote this thing. Um, and we built this community that we've built and, we, um, and we've had the time that we've had. I've got to get busy. I've got to tell you that I'm going to go away and the reason, one of the reasons I'm not doing the live lessons anymore um, is this, I mean, I'll put it in one sentence for you. There's so much more exciting stuff to come. And of course, you know, we've had such a good time and created this community here. So maybe the next thing that happens isn't live lessons. It's something else that replaces. If you've got any ideas, fire them at me. I want to hear them. 
Uh, I'm coming up with some stuff myself, so uh, you know, stay tuned for, for other stuff. But in the meantime, it's been such a joy. Thank you. And um, be safe, be well, be kind to each other, look out for each other. Uh, we will all be back in a room at some point. Um, it will happen. It's slow, but progress is being made. Um, until then, this has been awesome. You guys are lovely and wonderful. Uh, I thank you for everything. And um, if I don't go now, I'll do something like cry and keep saying thank you. Nobody needs that. Thank you, everybody. See you later.